boys, get moving from that wire. Come on. Wilder, get their cattle away from that water. Right up there, you fellas. Get that herd through there before them nesters come riding down on our neck. Well, that's the last of them, Mr. Davidson. There's nothing but your cattle on this side of the fence. That's as it should be. There's no room for nesters or any of their cattle on this range. Hey, they're going to put on an awful beef when they find out that you've fenced them off from their water. Well, let them. It's time we had a showdown. If they want to make trouble, we'll be ready for them. Well, you better get ready now, then, because here comes Ma Woods and her nesters with their eyes full of murder. tricks again, eh, Davidson? Who gave you the right to fence off Opal Spring? Why shouldn't I fence it off? It's on my property. Your property? Why, you miserly old pack rat! This is free range, free water. You know it as well as I do. Not according to my figures, Ma Wood. Why, this was our H range even before you nesters ever thought of moving in. Yes, and it's staying that way. You've been helping yourself to my water long enough. Nothing's too low for you, is it? You blasted our wells, burned our hay, blocked sale of our cattle. Just no. a minute there. I'll admit there's little I wouldn't do to run you and your nesters off this range. But you can't pin that on me. No? Then who can we pin it on? I wouldn't know about that. But it looks to me like a handy excuse for you homesteaders to rustle my cattle. Ouch! Why, you... Maybe you'll think twice before calling on us people cattle thieves. You're the one that's causing all the trouble around here. The drought couldn't drive us off our land, neither can you. Get busy with your wire cutters, Jim. You take another step, mister, and I'm raising my sides. Hold it. Gun down a woman, you'd have the whole county on our necks. What you waiting for? Drive the cattle through to the water. You'll never drive them out handling them with kid gloves. There's more than one way of skinning the cat. Ha! All right, boys, let them go through. Nice work, Ma. You sure told him a thing or two. I'm not so sure about that. Davidson's foxy. Yeah, it ain't like him to give up so easy. What if he does give up? Won't do us any good. There's no use of watering and grazing all these cattle if we can't even sell them. That's just what I've been thinking. Those notes of ours are due at the bank this month. How are we going to get the money to meet him? He's right, Ma. They ain't a buyer in sight. The more of Davidson's dirty work. Well, we've still got three weeks to go. Anything can happen by that time. Have the boys pull up all the fence, Jim. I'm going back to the ranch. Say, what's going on here? You boys ain't quitting. That's about the size of it, Ms. Wood. Walking out on me just when I need you most. It ain't that, ma'am. What is it, then? Tired waiting for your back pay? You know better than that, Ms. Woods. It's just that this range is getting too hot for comfort, that's all. Well, when Judd and me was taking those strays out of the pasture, a bunch of those Davidson men started shooting at us. Well, looky here. Ah, oh, so that's it, eh? Don't worry about that. From now on, we're giving Davidson a taste of his own medicine. Well, maybe you are, but we don't, no part of it. Look, Ms. Woods. Fine thing. Put me on the end of a broom. Sweeping up after a bunch of good for nothing cowpokes. I ought to be out riding the range. That's where I ought to be. I can ride bulldog stairs and fight too. Lick anybody my size. <coughs> anyway, I know a midget I can lick. But I'm a demon with a shooting iron. I got you covered, saddle nose. Lift your sky hooks and grab the hump the hose. So, saddle nose, am I? I. I was only playing, Ma. I mean, Mr. Woods, honest. I... Well, right now, I'm in no mood for games. Get busy with that room. 
Has Miss Myra come back from town yet? Miss Myra? Oh, you know where the old cat is at St. Reed? Well, she went down to see if there was any cat of Fallen Wrangler. I said, I, of course, I didn't know Wrangler Mods, but she was a center of What's big. that you said? I said, Myra went down to see if there was any cat of was a little fellow to be. I guess she's raining. Now, fall. listen, if that's some more of your tomfoolery. No, ma'am, all I said, all I said was I, I, I thought she ought to be back any minute. It ain't what it sounded like to me. For two cents, I'd wash your mouth out with soap. You and your Indian lingo. Thank you, Miss Byer. Oh, thanks, Pete. Did Ma get home yet? Yes, Miss, she did. She's inside now. Pete, when you come in, will you bring the bundles with you? Yes, Miss Meyer. Yeah. Hey. There you are, Myra. Any news from the Tulsa Packers? Not yet, Ma. I reckon that's another prospective buyer we can check off our list. Nosy. Yes, ma'am. It's getting late. You better start supper. By the way, we'll have two less for dinner tonight. Two less? What's the matter? Somebody don't like my cooking? Wish it was as simple as that. Bill and Judd walked out on me. Oh. Oh, they didn't. Well, what's wrong? You might know. Davidson scared them off. Man, they're all alike. Every time you need them most, they die off or quit on you. By well, the day you were born in the calf corral, your father was in town playing poker. Then when we were just beginning to get a start here, he had to go and break his fool Nick. We're not licked yet, Ma. No, and we're not going to be licked. Davidson or no Davidson. We've pulled through tighter holes than this, and we can do it again. Ma, what about that old friend of Dad's down in Arizona? You mean about Peters? Yes, maybe he'd buy the cattle. Far 20 is one of the biggest spreads down there. We'll send him a telegram right away. Get the team ready. We better get a move on if we're going to send that wire for Buck. Yeah. And California, get the horses ready to load and we'll be right back. And Hoppy, tell that Ma Woods to supper waiting when we get there, right? Nothing makes me hungrier than a train ride. <laughs> Now, as I said before, brother, this is just a little experiment to prove that the hand is quicker than the eye. Now then, brother, there's a little tea, and here's the shell. Now, you want to be real close, sometimes you see it. Nothing to it, men, absolutely nothing to it. Just a simple little experiment to prove that the hand is quicker than the eye. Now, all you have to do is watch that little pea, watch it disappear. First it's here, and first it's there. All right, where do you say it is? Right there? Well, what do you know about that? He outsmarted me. Now, as I said before, brother, this is just a little experiment to prove that the hand is quicker than the eye. Now then, brother, there's a little pea, and here's the shell. Now, you watch real close. Sometimes you see it, sometimes you don't. Sometimes you lose, sometimes you win. Now then, brother, you tell me where that little pea is. That one? Well, what do you know about that? You outsmarted me, too. Shucks, there ain't nothing to it. Just luck, brother, just plain luck. $20,000. Well, that's a lot of money to be packing around. Ain't hay. Sorry, brother, you lose again. Well, better luck next time. Now then, my friend, all you have to do is place your bets again. Place your bets again. Say a win, say a lose. Hey, bet a dollar, bet two. How much do you want for them shows and to show me how you work them? Well, now, brother, you asked me to peddle a secret. It's taken me a lifetime to learn. Now, listen, would you have $15 covered? Ah, uh, 15 uh, Make it $20, and it's all yours, brother. Now then, I'll show you exactly how it's done. Say, what do you suppose the old gal insists about being paid in cash for? Need his ready money, I guess. All right. Yeah, I guess the boss knows what he's doing. You can count on that. There you are. Send it off right away. How much is it? Dollar six bits. Dollar six bits? A lot of money. Hey, hey. Mr. Am I gonna have fun with these? There he is. Well, 
I don't like the look in his face. Say, uh, would you boys like you to, to do a little wagering mm -hmm. while we're uh, kind of waiting? Wagering? Uh, maybe for a nickel or two. Nickel or two? Come on, let's go. Come on. <clears throat> now you see it, now you don't. One dollar says the hand is squirting in the eye. Pick out the shell with a little penis hiding and win a simoleon. Ha <laughs> ha! A nickel. Now, there's the little bean. Watch. <clears throat> Which one? That one. <laughs> My hand must have slipped or something. Yeah, well, you better let me show you this trick before you lose your shirt. Take the little bean, you put it right under there. Which one? This one. Uh, uh, that one. Pick up the other one. Suffering catfish, what became of the little bean? So that's how that slicker flim flam. Wait a minute, here she comes. Come on. Get out of here. <laughs> it's gonna be too bad for that tin horn if I ever meet up with him again. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. I'll meet you over at the blacksmith shop as soon as I find Ma Woods. Ma Woods? What's up? She found a buyer for the cattle? I don't know. Just said she wanted to see me about something. Huh. Look there. It's George Davidson, ain't it? Yeah. Joe seen him over at the county seat yesterday, and now he turns up here. Heading for the sheriff's office. I wonder what he's up to. Search me. Hatching up some more dirty work. You can count on that. Hello, Davidson. What's on your mind? I got a little job for you, Sheriff. Yeah? What kind of job? You won't like it. I figured it'd be something like this. I'm willing to lay odds, Davidson. You shed your skin once a year, just like all snakes. Thanks, Cullen. I'll remember that the next election. Don't bother. If I've got to do rotten things like this to get reelected, I won't be running. That's Jake with me. But right now, you're still sheriff of this county, and your job is serving that paper. So get busy. Nearly done there, Leif. Just as soon as I get this axle tight, Mrs. Woods. All right, I'll be back in just a minute. Uh-uh. That won't work. No? Why not? Because, you see, you gotta raise the axle above the cannon forcer when you put it in the celery. You just can't take a feel and lifts up the wheel when the bag comes on and fall with celery. Put a little sacrifice in it. Otherwise, what have you got? Well, it always worked before. Sure. But do you know why? Because you take the axle and pull it up above the saddle rope and claim the seat. Don't put the ribbons. Don't just take a land and frame the pole and see when they lift in a ball routine. Put the seat in force with the axle when the brake comes through the fall and they seat. And there you are. Well, what do you think I ought to do? Jack it up a little more? Sure. Anybody with an ounce of container for it can see that your pottery was solid. In. Always remember, when you're pushing down and look at yourself, ain't you got a big rub seat? Well, pull up a single for a seat, kind of bites and read, and put some platypus in it and lift it twice a ball. Go ahead, pull a single well, reeds and lift the axle. Pull the wrist I don't in. know. I hate to do it, but maybe you're right. See? What'd I tell you? You did? Hello, Mrs. Woods. Hello, Hank. Stark's been looking for you. Yeah. Oh, here he is. Howdy, Ma. Got any news on our cattle? Not yet. Expecting word any minute. Meyer's over the telegraph office now. Yeah? Who'd you contact? Buck Peters, an old friend of the family. Runs the bar 20 over in Arizona. If he don't buy him, nobody will. That's great. Did you tell him we wanted cash? One of the terms I made. Ma, I've got it. The telegram from Buck Peters, he's agreed to buy the cattle. Isn't it wonderful? Sure takes a load off my mind. Says here he's sending his foreman Cassidy along to set the deal. Do you know him, Ma? Nope. If it's anything like his boss, he's all right. Oh, it's hard to believe our troubles are finally over. They're still not over, Myra. What do you mean, Sheriff? I'm afraid I've got bad news for you, Ma. Bad news? 
Davidson just handed me this court injunction, restraining you folks from using Opal Springs pending the hearing of his claim to the property. But this says we can't use the springs at all. Not until the district court comes to some decision. But we've got to water our cattle. Oh, we can't do this. You've got to do something, Sheriff. I'm sorry, Myra. It's out of my hands. I reckon that means we chalk another one up to Davidson, huh? Not necessarily. Plenty of water up at the forks. Oh, that's out of the question, Ma. Boy, it's easy a three-day trip from here over steep mountain country. He's right. That trail's dry as a bone. Why, we'd never make it. The cattle will die here without water. Our only hope is to chance the trip and stay there until Cassidy arrives. Well, if you're willing to risk it, Ma, I reckon I can too. That's the spirit, Jim. Get the folks over to my place as quick as you can. The sooner we start, the better. If Cassidy arrives, sort of look out for him, will you, Sheriff? I sure will. If anything happens to him or the money, we're sunk this time, sure. Ready yet, Leif? Take on water and check our orders. How far is it to Cooperstown? About 55 miles. Ought to be there in a couple of hours. Thanks. Wonder how the horses are. I'll bet they're itching for a good romp. Ah, uh, they'll get plenty of that when they get there. We've been on this puddle jumper quite a while at that. Maybe I'd better go see how the horses are. Sure, good idea. <laughs> Which one of you men is Cassidy? I am, why? Station agent wants to see you in the depot. What about? I don't know. I'm just telling you what he said. I'll be back in a minute. How's the trip then? Sort of long and rough. Which way are you heading? Cooperstown. Get him up. Let's have that money. What money are you talking about? in this dark out there. You got something there, it's black and molasses outside. You're gonna let him get away with $20,000? What do you think? Get those men untied back there. Back where? Back here, untie the conductor so we can get out of here. Well, I can't figure how those outlaws knew we were carrying all that cash. News travels fast, Cassidy. It was no secret that you were coming with cash to buy cattle. Oh, I suppose not. But I still think it was an inside job. Yeah, same here. Got any ideas? Yeah, strictly off the record. If I were to suspect anyone, it'd be this Davidson I've been telling you about. Oh, that's the man that's been trying to drive the nesters off their land. Just the sort of stunt he'd be likely to cook up. Particularly with you stepping on his toes at a time when he thought he had things coming his own way. You know, I got an idea. I'd like to meet that gentleman. Speaking of the devil, here he is now. Are you Cassidy? Right. I'm George Davidson, owner of the Arrow H. Howdy. Howdy. 
I see the sheriff's been telling you all about me, eh? Good. Now that we know where we stand, I'll get down to business. I've been told that you're here to buy up some cattle from a group of nesters. That's right. Well, I got a proposition of my own to make. Now, no matter what you've agreed to pay those nesters, I'll undersell them by half. You certainly hate those poor people, don't you? <laughs> well, why shouldn't he hate them? They've been rustling his cattle and stealing his water, haven't they? You know better than that, Wyler. Never mind that. What do you say, Cassidy? Is it a deal? I don't know. Would you take a check instead of cash? I'll do better than that. I'll give you 30-day terms. How's that? That sounds fair enough. I'll think it over. Take all the time you want. I'll be down at my ranch whenever you're ready to talk business. Right. Have you gone loco? You know you can't write a check. I know that. I wouldn't buy his cattle on a bet. Then what's the idea of getting so all fired hot about his proposition? I would just feel him out to see if he's as guilty as the sheriff here thinks he is. He's guilty, all right. Ah, uh, you're wrong, Sheriff. That man's pretty salty, but he doesn't have anything to do with that robbery. No, why not? Because he's too anxious to keep us from buying those nesters' cattle. Ah, uh, that don't mean nothing. Of course, he's just putting on an act to throw us off his trail. In that case, he wouldn't have made us the offer he did. There's somebody else behind this. Let's take a ride out and have a talk with Ma Woods. You know, Hoppy, I've been thinking. Uh-oh. This Ma Woods we're gonna visit. How do we know that she ain't the one that staged that holdup? Same thing's been running through my mind. You know, they needed that money pretty bad. Sure did. What's more, she made a point of it in her telegram. Cash, no checks. Yeah, but why would she want to steal money she's going to get anyhow? And who the dickens are we going to suspect? Somebody done it. My guess is somebody pretty close to the woods outfit. That's practically the same thing I was just saying. Well, if it is, aren't we allowed to tip our hand? You know, barging in there like this. Well, there's a chance. That's why we better not let them know who we are until we get the hang of things. I don't care what we tell them, so long as they feed us when we get there. I'm hungry. I never saw you when you wasn't. <laughs> Got on the menu today, nosy. Oh, we got some cattle for a couple of the little pot of race, crepe rudiments, and some fatty rake of marston. What did you say? I say we got some land of fort race covered. You know those fried red wreaths? Well, I put a little fatness in it and gave you the fort. Oh, those that'll rate of fights. Where do you get the silver? Well, that sounds good. It is good. <laughs> now tell them what it is in plain English. <laughs> Beef stew. Beef stew? Well, give me some. <laughs> Ma, what do you suppose Cassidy will get here? Any time now. Where's Jim and Toby? Oh, they're out riding herd. Ed and Bob said that they'd relieve them as soon as they're finished eating. Got a light, Toby? Sure. Hey, look.
sure want to thank you. That was a pretty close call. Close? I hope I never have to live through a closer one. <laughs> Say, where'd you come from anyway? Did you spring out of thin air? No, I just riding by. Well, you can ride by my way anytime you please. I'm Myra Woods. Uh, my name's... Uh, just call me Hoppy. All right. Hoppy it is. These are my two partners here. This is Lucky and this is California. How do you do? Howdy, ma'am. And this is uh, Miss... Uh, Miss Myra Woods. Woods? Well, ain't that a coincidence? Why, we was... Uh, no... Yeah, uh, we were just on our way up to your place. We thought we might get a job. Are you all right, Myra? Not a scratch, Ma. Thanks to Hoppy here. Hoppy? It was a nice job you did, young man. I don't have to tell you how I feel about it. Are these the two boys that helped turn the herd? Oh, shucks, weren't nothing. Don't tell me it weren't nothing. I know riding when I see it. The only other place I've seen better is up at Buck Peters, Bar 20. That's so? Ha, <laughs> ha. Well, Bar 20, never heard of them. Have you? Seems to me I have. Down in Arizona, ain't it? Huh. Yeah, I've heard of the place. It's run by a silly-looking glute named Cassidy. Well, I don't know what he looks like, but that's his name. And if he works for Buck Peters, he must be a thoroughbred. Thank you. What's that? Did somebody say something? I thought... Say, what are you boys doing in this neck of the woods? Well, they're looking for jobs, Ma. Well, we certainly can stand to take on more help, providing you work for board and keep. Uh-uh. Well, just for a little while, could we sell the herd? Cassidy, you mentioned, is on his way here with the money. Oh, well, in that case, what have we got to lose? Well, then it's a deal. Sure. You'll find our camp up at the Forks. I'll get a boy to round up your horse, Myra. You can you take can my horse. Thanks just the same, but I'll ride home with Mother. Oh. Yeah. You know, I think I'm going to like working here, Hoppy. We're here on business, not pleasure. Remember that. I don't know. Frankly, I don't think I was ever cut out to be a businessman. Ha <laughs> ha! Come on. Hello, Rocky. Howdy, Mara. Now I ask you, is that any kind of a job for an enterprising young cowpoke? Well, if somebody had to ride herd in that wood pile, I guess I was elected. You know, I was sort of feeling sorry for myself oh. until you came along. Oh, I'm sorry, but I can't stick around to keep your spirits up. I'm looking for Hoppy. Hoppy, huh? Have you seen him? Well, I guess he's out there with a the herd. Thanks, Lucky. Oh, uh, Mara. Yes. I couldn't uh, do whatever you wanted Hoppy to do, could I? Oh, I don't want him for anything in particular. I just wanted to find out how he's getting on. Just like I wanted to find out how you were getting on. Yes, sir, Lucky. You sure are a lady killer. Why, you <laughs> mad <Matt's> fake? <laughs> That pie or my seeing things? You're seeing things. Uh, not me. I know pie when I see it. <clears throat> what kind? It's apple. Yeah. You know, Nosy, I like you. No, you don't. No, you don't. Why, oh, Nosy, what's the matter with you? You're not kidding me. All you want is a piece of that pie. Do, do I look like a fellow who'd take advantage of a friend from easily hunk a pie? Indubitably. Huh? You. Now, no, see here, Nosey. You look like a fellow with brains. I'm gonna make you a little business proposition. Yeah? Yeah. I'm gonna play you a game. And if I win, I get a piece of that pie. But if I lose, <laughs> this is gonna please you. I'll peel every last one of them spots for you. Every last one, huh? Yes, sir. What's the game? The old army game. Now you see it, now you don't. Uh, you ever play it? No. No? Well, well. We'll soon remedy that. Now, see? Now, watch. Watch the little pea. See? I'll put it under one of them, shove them around like... Find out anything yet, Hoppy? No, not much. 
fellow we are looking for is around here. He's being pretty cagey. Yeah, but we're on the wrong track. No, he's around here, all right. Just a matter of figuring out how to smoke him out. Well, I wish you would hurry up and figure it out. You know, I was never cut out to play nursemaid to that pile of wood. What are you hollering about? Look what they're doing to California. <laughs> no, you see it. No, you don't. When am I ever going to learn? <laughs> I thought I'd find you here, Cassidy. Cassidy? Did he call you Cassidy? What did it sound like I called him? You made a deal with me to buy my cattle, Cassidy. Are you going to live up to it or not? I didn't make a deal. I told you I'd think it over. Here. Wait a minute. Suppose you tell us what this is all about. Yeah, start talking, mister, and make it good. Well, there's not much to talk about. Davidson here just called my hand. I am Cassidy, the buyer you've been waiting for. Well, why didn't you tell us that when you first got here? You know what this money meant to us. Yeah, it meant a lot to us, too. Why, sure, we only stayed undercover in hopes to find the thieves that stole the money from us. Stole it? You mean somebody stole that money from you? That's right. If you came here to find your thief, I think you're in the right place. That's twice you've called us thieves, George Davidson. Now get out of here before I blast you. Ma, there's been enough gun order here. I think you two better get your heads in order. You've been acting like babies. Just a minute, Cassidy. You can't talk to me like that. Well, I am talking and see if this don't make sense. You two have been accusing each other of a lot of things that neither one of you has done. What do you mean? Just this. Why should Ma and her friends want to rustle your cattle when they can't even sell their own? That's exactly... Just a minute, Ma. Now, there's always two sides to a story. If Davidson fired your hay and blasted your wells, he certainly wouldn't have gone to the law over Opal Springs. He'd have burned you out completely, wouldn't he? Well? Are you trying to tell us that some coyote is back of all this trouble? And he's trying to make us think that both of us is responsible? Exactly. But why? Well, it's my guess that somebody's trying to get your land. Somebody that knows all about your bank notes being due and they're trying to hold up the sale of your cattle till it's too late to meet them. My gravy, Hoppy. It could be. Sounds logical. But have you any idea who the crook is, Cassidy? No, not the top man. But uh, stick around a while. Maybe you get a look at him. I think I will. Well, what about you two burying the hatchet? <laughs> Where's this little fork if I sit back saddled up a bit? Cook. You can't cook with an apple pie, horse. Hey, saddle no slave flinker. Mike, pull over the castle. See, what did I tell you? You can't have this on him, Mike. Pull over, Mike, just slip him flinker. This one, flip him flinker.
Looks like we hit pay dirt, Hoppy. Yeah. Wait a minute. There's a lookout up there. That makes everything just dandy, don't it? Now what do we do? Go around, come up from the back. Come on. Why'd I come up yet? We're expecting him any minute. What's up? That Cassidy's about to ruin everything. Cassidy? Where is he? Over at the Forks with Ma Woods and Davidson. Over at the Forks? Say, if he's wise to our game and gets the two of them together, we're out of luck. But we'll never get that land away from him. We've got to work fast and find Wyler. Come on. Hey, Jim, saddle up my horse. I'll need a fresh one. Bring out Whitefoot for Hank here. Back through this way. California, watch the point. You got that money? That was just a warning. Drop your guns. Take them back to the hideout. Keep a guard over them. Come on, let's get going.
How'd Cassidy get up here? Never mind about that now. What are we going to do about Ma Woods and Davidson? What do you mean? Cassidy got him to bury the hatchet. Who else knows about this? Just us in the woods outfit. Say, if they all got wiped out while Ma Woods' herd was being rustled, they'd all blame it on the feud, wouldn't they? Wyler, I think you got something there. Now, here's what we'll do. Wonder where they went in such a hurry. I don't know. I'd sure like to get my hands on those two muzzlers that tied us up. Me too. spurs up near my hand. What's happened to Hoppy and the boys? Do you think they're in trouble? I don't know. Their being gone so long don't look good to me. I got my hands loose. Hope you boys are nice and comfortable. We would be if we had a cigarette. You got the makings? Sure. Right here in my pocket. <clears throat> wow. <clears throat> are you boys comfortable? Hey. Come here. Cut him loose. Give me that knife. What brought you out here? I was expecting you out at the ranch last night, and I got kind of worried when you didn't show up. and the boys. Now, don't rush me, Ma. I got good news. You mean Hoppy's got his money back? Nothing else but. We got the hombre that robbed him along with two of his men. But where's Hoppy? Why didn't he come back with you? He's taking the prisoners to town. He said for us to start the drive right away and he'd have the cattle cars there ready to load when we got there. Come on, boys. We're breaking camp. Get the cattle going. <laughs> That's all right with you, Ma. Wyler and I'll help you with the drive. Fine. <laughs> when it's time these two up, and it might be a good idea to take their spurs off. I'm gonna take care of that lookout up there. Hoppy, let me take care of him, will you? All right, California. I'll be back in a minute. seen you around here before. You ain't. Say, you better see the doc. Sitting up in that crow's nest all day must have given you the creeping crud. Yeah? What's that? Well, well I don't know exactly, but it'll make you blinder than a bat. Squat down here and let me have a look at those eyes. Uh-uh. You got it. Feel anything? Thank you. 
How about now? Uh-oh. Did you feel that? Huh? Nicked it, huh? No, I just fed him a dose of the creeping crud. <laughs> he are hoppy. Found them all inside. Good. What do we do now? Wait and surprise him? No, I got a pretty good idea why they left here in such a hurry. Come on, let's get out of here. That'll be a pleasure. the cattle got well into the canyon. Then let them have it. That'll keep them busy till Jude can run off the herd. Get behind them. 
dog gone. I ain't no mountain goat. How'd those coyotes get up there? Oh, please don't try it. You'll all be killed. Come on, we got no time to wait. <laughs> See if they got that money on him. He hasn't got it, Harvey. California. Keep an eye on him. Come on, Lucky. Will I? All right, come out of there. They're all yours. Take them down the hill. Get going. You didn't handle this all by yourself. Who's the boss of your outfit? Well, are you gonna talk? You might just as well save your breath. We ain't talking. Let me work him over, will you, Hoppy? I'll find out where that money is and who's the leader. Toronto, too! Wait a minute, California. You heard what he said. Gun whipping won't help any. It looks like we're both licked, Hoppy. How soon do your bank loans fall due? Three days now. We lose everything then. I'm not so sure of that. I've been pretty hard on you folks one way or another. But now I'm going to make up for all that. I'm going to take over your notes and hold them until you and the others can sell your steers. You mean that, Davidson? I do, Mrs. Woods. Thanks. We'll never forget this. Thanks, Davidson. Better get the cattle moving again, Jim. You bet. I'll go with you. Oh, why, you clumsy idiot? Go, go on. I didn't bump him hard enough to hurt a fly. Ma, you go in the wagon. We'll follow the prisoners. Come on, get going. What are we going to do about Buck's money? We'll keep looking for the man that's got it. All right, you fellas, get Take care of him and I'll send Ma back. Quick! Get under cover! Somebody just shot Davidson. That would happen to him just when he was going to help us. You stay here. I'm going after him. Get back to Davidson! He's just been shot! Come on! Yeah. You see, Wyler? He just left here, going after the man who shot Davidson. How did he know Davidson was... Wait a minute. 
me one of those shells. He's going for the hideout. Head him off that way. How is he? He's got a chance. If we get him to the docks real quick. Come on. Yeah, ride with him, Phil. Horse. All right, Lucky. Searching. When he's here, all right. Bring it here. Buckle looks like it had stopped a bullet. But if Davidson dies, you'll wish it hadn't. Get him on his horse. Uh, you're a pretty lucky man to be up and around so soon. Yes, I believe I am. Happy. We hate to see you leave. We hate to leave too, Ma. Well, if you ever get tired of Bar 20, just come a-running. There's always room for you with us. Now that goes for the ROH too, Cassidy. Thanks, folks. We'll remember that. He's all loaded, Cassidy. All right, thanks. Hey, California. We're going to be pulling out in a minute. See if we can find out what's keeping Lucky. I'll get him. Are you sure you wouldn't like to live in Arizona? Maybe. Is it nice? Well, uh, it's kind of warm in the summer, and the winters are pretty cold. And... Oh, I love cold winters and warm summers. You do? Yes. Well, uh, I know Colorado's a pretty state. It's got a lot of things Arizona doesn't have. It's uh... Lucky, I think you're a fake. No, it's just that I don't want you to rush into things. It's just a little experiment to prove that the hand is quicker than the eye. Now then, there's nothing in my right hand. There's nothing in my left hand. It's just a matter of skill, my friend. Now then, all you have to do is watch that little pea right there. Now we take those three shots. Well, hello, brother. Harry. Have any luck with that game I showed you? No, can't say I have. Guess I wasn't cut out to be a dealer. Well, that's too bad, pal. But then I guess you're like a lot of people I know. Better at guessing where the little pea is hidden. Care to try your luck once more? Well, I don't know. Well, seems I gotta leave in the train in a few minutes, I'll make you just one bet. That's all right with me, brother. How much will it be? Mm, well, let's see. One hundred simoleons. Well, you're a man after my own heart. One hundred simoleons it is. Now then, all you have to do is watch the little pea disappear. Always do that when I feel lucky. Oh. All right. Now then, take the little pea and we cover it with this shell. Take this one, put it over here. I kind of think you're a fake, too. Where's California? Well, I don't know. I, I have not luck. <laughs> hey, stranger. Have you seen a fellow around here by the name of California? California? No, I don't reckon I have. I... California. <laughs> That's a good one. So he says to me, how much do you want to bet? I says, 100 small. I said, have you seen a fellow around here by the name of California? Oh, I'll be quick, fool. Come on, <laughs> Lucky. You can't fool us yet, darn pin hall. Poppy, it's me. Quit pulling! 
Ha, 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 ha,